Hi everybody, Rob here from Facester. I just want to speak from the heart quickly before we get into the video. Uh, for those of you that sent those kind words while I was in hospital having pectus repair, it's just where they lift up your ribs. It's a once-off thing by the way guys. Um, I was getting over some antibiotics, but I'm feeling stronger than ever and we're ready to go. So you'll be seeing more of me and I'm back. So everything's good and once again, thank you for your kind words. So, welcome to Face That, newcomers, hi as well. And um, I've seen some of your questions and asking about our developments and what's been going on. So this is a good time for us to share. As I said, I'm back, so let's talk about it. Um, for those of you that have watched my New Year video, you'll be quite up to date with how we're ending 2019 and how we're going uh, ending 2018 and coming into 2019. But let's quickly recap it right here quickly so everybody's up to date. So we're looking at affordable, straightforward video surveillance in the nearest future becoming standard, as standard as internet and mobile phone applications. So Facete is ready for these changes, but also wants to be at the forefront of this movement. So as simple as and convenient as internet is around and your mobile phone, that's how much Facete and CCTV is going to be easier and at your fingertips. You're going to want to be using it. So you've got a simplicity and easy convenient product and then you've got the other direction that we're focusing on which is powerful video analytics and those are the two directions that were the focus. Now, uh, that was what was in conclusion of the last video. Moving forward, the crypto market as we've all noticed has taken a drastic drop last year and that affected a lot of crypto projects. In fact, about 80% of projects failed to even launch. Facebook is going further, as we have always had, and I believe that's because we've always had a very strong group of developers at the foundation, right from the beginning. And we've grown our team very carefully as well and very selectively, and everybody's on the same vision. It's a time for us to look at the economy of the project and to make an all more independent and attractive solution. So we've come to the decision that benefits both product directions. Now we have developing the functionality that can be used for B2C, B2B or B2G, so all sectors. For now, we do not separate the services, but the frameworks are still different. Let me explain it quickly. So, you can still download the app and simply add a camera to it. Nice, easy and simple. But you can also customize it if you want to. And you're going to be able to add networks of cameras, for example, your work, home or the entire state. So now there's more powerful functionality that can be added. You can step it up just with the tap of your finger. This decision was the one that made our fog computing, fog computing, computing offer attractive and an option for businesses. The most exciting thing is that the change in the market over the past year and what this means for Facebook as many businesses are ready to start working with Fog or they are already, already sending um, uh, and using cloud services. The reason for this is because they are ready to work with online data sharing, especially with sending video streams or frames to either Fog or Cloud, as many of them are already using a variety of video surveillance apps that grant access to proprietary cloud services. They are also ready to pay for Fog computation power for video analytics and face recognition. And frankly speaking, businesses need such analytics and they're starting to recognize that to be more competitive in the market, they need to start ado adopting these kind of changes and these kind of um, tools that are available, especially when they're affordable through Facebook. So how, uh, they'll be ready and, they, and they're ready to pay for good data processing. And that's what we're offering, an affordable solution for all. So on the other hand, if you're a household who wants to utilize Facebook with one to two cameras, and it's also available for you in several service packages from Facebook, then you can choose um, the one that fits your needs from the basic analytics on video streams to face recognition and database cloud storage. So it's available. To sum it up, we're moving forward and working on features for Facebook available from B2G, B2C, and B2C, all sectors on the same platform. Based on the most advanced computing, computing technology, it looks like I'm even tongue twisted at that word today. But anyway, we'll move on. So if you want to watch a video on um, how that actually works, um, uh, you can go to our video called Face Token Functionality. Uh, in Face Day, we'll include it in the link for you to watch. And you can see there how the phone computation will work with the video. I'm coming to the chat more from time to time now, so you can expect to see more from me. You will see more messages. Once again, thank you for your kind words. I'm sorry that I was away a bit like that. 
antibiotics and all these other things, but I'm off of all that funny stuff and I'm back on my healthy diet, back at the gym and I'm stronger than ever. Guys, we enjoy your feedback, write to us, ceo at feista.io. We get inspiration from your letters, I guarantee you we are reading every single one that comes through and uh, we look forward to hearing from you guys. And uh, yeah, let's move forward. 2019 is gonna be a strong year for us and I'm very excited. Thanks again and remember, face the, know the faces around you. Cheers guys.